Indy cuts it to three. You go on that 7-0 run on offense. Uh, just thinking about what you said before, the second half, the ankle got a little stiff when you returned the last time. I wondered how it felt this second half and how you were able to overcome that if it did down the stretch. Oh, much better. Uh, much better than it did. I think that was the Toronto game, the last game that I played. Um, you know, the ankle just felt a lot, uh, a lot more, more, a lot more mobility, a lot more movement. Uh, it was warm. Um, you know, a little, a tiny bit of soreness today, uh, right now as the game is over, which I expected it, but um, I, I didn't have a setback today, so that was, that was a damn, damn good job for myself and uh, for my, for Mike Mancini and the medical team. Yeah, LeBron, it's so hard to replicate NBA basketball. You can't unless you're playing. So how important was today for you to just get out there, get a run in uh, with the playoffs fast approaching? You know, the funny thing is it was uh, it actually threw me for a loop, too, because, uh, you know, I knew I wanted to kind of gear up and play uh, in tonight in tonight's game, which I actually thought was a night game. And then uh, yesterday we making a flight. and They said we play tomorrow at one. So I was like, oh, man. Uh, so I got to get going early. I got to get my engine revved up early. And I didn't know how the ankle was going to respond with it being a one o'clock uh, start. So which is actually 10 o'clock for us on the West Coast. But uh, responded very well. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about uh, what tomorrow holds. All right, LeBron, and I'd be remiss not to just ask you about the Hall of Fame induction ceremony today. Uh, KG, Tim Duncan, and of course, Kobe Bryant. Uh, you guys got the chip for him last season. Just want to know where your head's at with what's going on and, and uh, everybody who's speaking later today. Uh, well, it's a celebration of greats, and uh, you just named three of them. Uh, one of them happened to be, uh, you know, a, a brother of ours uh, with the Laker organization, someone who uh, set the tone for this organization for 20 years, and, and Kobe. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an unbelievable time for uh, himself, um, looking down on all of the compliments that he had uh, for his wife and his daughters, uh, and for his daughter that's up there going to be watching along Kobe, alongside Kobe when they watch the enshrinement. So it was a beautiful thing to see uh, Vanessa, uh, you know, put the, uh, you know, put the, uh, the jacket on his daughter, on his elder. Uh, yesterday uh, beautiful thing and uh, you know it's a, it's a beautiful time for, for the Lakers you know like I said it's a celebration for another Laker great and uh, just happy to be a part of his legacy uh, I felt great um, felt good to be back out there you know letting the uh, the growing rest for a game <clears throat> uh, it felt you know felt good the entire time Felt good after the treatment session after the Houston game and then uh, that practice um, in between games. So, well, a couple of days between. Um, <coughs> felt good to get the whole team back out there, get the, get our rhythm and our chemistry again. Um, yeah, so uh, it, it felt great. Uh, I felt pretty good. Um, you know, a lot better than I did the last time I, I suited up. Um, you know, just putting a lot of work, you know, obviously off the floor. Um, you know, just getting my ankle right, getting my foot right. Um, but I felt pretty good, um, you know, going into the game. And, and uh, you know, the last game I played, I think that was Toronto. I think, uh, you know, that halftime break kind of, uh, you know, stiffened my leg up, stiffened my uh, ankle up. But tonight, it, um, you know, it was a, a complete 360 for me or a complete 180, I would say, and uh, allowed me to, uh, you know, still play the game that I wanted to play. So, you know, I think every game I'll get better and better. Uh, but it was a good first test for me. Uh, I mean, I was uh, much better then, obviously. I mean, I had, you know, how many so games up underneath my belt. I think I missed one game up until that point. I think that was a game right before the break. Um, so, you know, as far as conditioning-wise, my condition was at uh, a really good place. Um, you know, my game was at a really good place. So, um, you know, it took a few games to get it all the way back, but you know, I like where I am today. And just quick follow uh, for both of you. What do you guys anticipate uh, tomorrow? Up to coach. Uh. Yeah, so to the coach and our, and our yeah. training staff. Obviously, yeah. um, you know we we know what's uh, you know what we got to do to you know continue to get our body uh, where it needs to be to play. Um, but that's up to the coaching staff and, uh, and and the training staff, our medical team, on what our work, our workload looks like. Um, you know, I think it definitely helps, um, you know, just from the sense of uh, being able to, you know, have a quick twitch mind. Uh, it was a turnover that happened. So when the turnover happens, you have to, 
you know, readjust where you are and, and, and quick twitch turn to go the other way. So I was able to do that. And AD pushed the break and uh, kicked it up to Dennis. And, you know, I just tried to feel the left wing, which I'm, you know, I've been good at kind of like my whole life, just feeling wings. And DS threw it up there, and that was a test for me. You know, it was a test for me to go up and get it, and I was able to finish it home. So, um, you know, it was a good test for my ankle uh, and, and a good play for our team. Um, I think whatever I say gets blown out of context. Um, you know, what I was saying is like, you know, for me, as soon as I, as soon as I stepped foot in the NBA, um, as soon as I stepped on the NBA floor for the first time, you know, I went to 99.9%. You know, you, you don't never feel, you know, as great as you felt the first time you ever stepped out there. So I'm saying like, I would never be able to get to a hundred percent. Like I've, you know, that time has passed me, but, um, you know, for me, um, you know, playing at a high level, I can always do that. I can be at 99.9. Um, but once you get into the league and you start, you know, you start, you know, playing multiple games, you, you know, you have the career that I've had, you've had the minutes that you that I've had, the longevity that I've had. As far as 100%, you never feel 100%. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's actually impossible. If that's the case, I'll play to 60, 70. You just don't, it doesn't happen that way. So, um, now I should have clarified that, but. You know, obviously people ran with it and it was like, oh, well, whatever. our team when I get to the line. Um, it helps me get a rhythm when I get to the line, but uh, being aggressive, you know, puts the other team in foul trouble, which puts our team in a bonus and we're able to shoot free throws for, um, you know, six, seven plus minutes in a quarter. Uh, you know, I think that um, it's beneficial um, for us um, throughout the, the game, um, but it's all about the, the scouting course. You know, the coach tells us every game if a team fouls a lot, and this is one of the teams that uh, he thought that, that fouls a lot. Uh, so I'm just trying to be aggressive, draw fouls, and um, get to the line. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you guys are going to be playing game Let the chips fall where they may. Simple as that. We ready to go. Okay. Same way. Same way. You know, we ready to play uh, whatever game. If it's you know playoffs where we're the sixth seed, or we got to play in the play-in for the seventh seed. Um, as a seventh seed, then you know we, we don't care. Um, you know, it's not gonna stop us. You know, one way or the other, uh, which one we do to take our mind off our goal. Um, you know, it's not gonna give us any discouragement because we. You know, not in the top six, but um, you know we, we we don't really you know care. We control what we control, and that's uh, winning this last ball game. And like you said, uh, let the chips fall where they mark. What they what they whatever you said. What they may. What they may. Thanks. Last two questions, Dan. Hey guys, uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. Um, today I'm curious about the adoption. Probably hits a bunch of different ways. Uh, Rebron, I, I guess I'm curious for a hey, like. What's your reaction to this class overall? I mean, you've got Kobe, obviously, but also a guy who competed against the Tim, um, a guy who competed against the AP, uh, you know, well, the way as a, a pro guy. Um, what's your reaction to that? So you've been watching the ceremony today, and, and, and I guess I'm sort of. Um, well, my reaction to the class is probably one of the best classes that went in and at the same time. As far as individuals, and then that, that I mean, that's a, that big three, I can't think of a better big three that's went to the Hall of Fame at the same time better than this one. When you look at Kobe's resume, KG's resume, and Timmy D's resume, three of the best players that ever played this game, three champions, three Hall of Famers, three, I, I mean, MVPs. They got, they, got every, they got everything that you could ever want in this league. They got, uh, you know, everything. So, um, 
you know, I think it's the best class as far as those those three. I don't think there's there, there has not been a, a a better big three to go in at the same time. Um, well, I, what was different, I, I don't know. I think it's just time, um, you know, um, being in the Toronto game just gave me a sense of where I was physically as far as my ankle, but I, I needed that. I needed that test to see where I was then um, to know where I needed to go. So, and uh, today is, uh, 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 was another opportunity to see where I'm at and, you know, how far I can go too. So I, I still got some more uh, room for improvement as far as my ankle and my mobility and my strength. Um, but I'm 10 times better than I was in that Toronto game, and I, and I believe I can get five to 10 times better um, in, in the future. So, uh, like I said, the more games that we have, the more opportunity I get to really just continue to strengthen it, strengthen everything around it, um, and uh, continue to get better. So, um, you know, we got a, like I said, we got a great, we got a great team. Uh, I got a great team around me. Uh, you know, my trainer's on me every single day, um, and, and I'm on myself about, you know, doing what I can do. Uh, to be available to this team and controlling what I control. And